COVID-19 persist to ask everything from everybody worldwide. Sheffield players follow suit of their manager and chief executive. The duo agree to pay and bonus deferral and so will the players. The Premier League are far from confirming a return date but it's been reported the United Kingdom will start their vaccine trials, which is the encouraging news we need right now. Sheffield United started the week off in a giving light. Their players join their manager Wilder and chief executive Bettis, in taking on pay and bonus deferrals till the end of the year. The Blades follow the pair Southampton and West Ham as the only three clubs to do so. More from news Sheffield United's players have agreed to a partial pay and bonus deferral until the end of 2020 amid the coronavirus pandemic. It comes after manager Chris Wilder and chief executive Stephen Bettis agreed to the same measures for six months on Monday. United's players become the third Premier League squad to agree to a pay deferral, after Southampton and West Ham, while Arsenal's first team players have agreed to take a 12.5% pay cut. Via Sky Sports Arsenal players have also agreed to 12.5% pay cuts amid the coronavirus pandemic. But following this news, it was said the club's highest paid player, Mesut Ozil, is not prepared to follow the pay cut order, although, he has always been doing his bit for charity. Where you stand on this one, will be based on your own opinion of the player prior to recent events. The other top story happening in the Premier League is the status of Amanda Staveley and her Saudi backing status in the purchase of Newcastle. The EPL and the 20 clubs are being urged on to block the sale of the club to the Saudi moneymakers. Sporting show, BN Sports, are the ones requesting the cessation of the sale. BN Sports want the Premier League and the 20 clubs to block the sale of Newcastle because of a pirate TV network. The Mirror so £300 million sale must be stopped because of piracy? No. The people have waited too long for the sale of Newcastle. Give the people what they want. Hashtag NUFC, the top flight, at the top flight for April 22nd. 2020 other news around Europe discussions commenced during COVID-19 with only the Bundesliga showing some positive signs they are en route to making a return to football. Teams like Bayern Munich have already hit the training pitch, confident of restarting on May 8. Sadly, the message from the Dutch Eredivisie is not as welcoming as Prime Minister, Mark Rutte, extends the ban on all licensed events till September 1. The news is not the best suited for Az, who sits second in the standings but only by virtue of goal difference, while on the same points as first-placed Ajax. If the league is lost, they suffer the most. In Spain, things are unchanged but some motivating and exciting news comes from the Camp Nou. Barcelona announced on Tuesday they will be selling the rights to name their beloved stadium for next season. This is to raise funds and help in the time of the COVID-19 crisis. Barcelona have announced that naming rights for their Camp Nou home will be ceded to the club's Barca Foundation for the 2020-21 campaign. Money from that agreement will be used in the ongoing fight against COVID-19 by health services in Catalonia. Via Goal.com, next. Newcastle buyout is nearly complete other news reported the EFL says no decisions taken yet on what may happen next. The league is currently suspended till April 3rd. The board will meet sometime this week again. National League clubs, lower tier leagues, have voted to end the 2019-2020 season as is, with only the relegation and promotion to be decided once safe. Let's block ads. Why?